Monday night. Yeah. Yeah. Tuned in to Lessons with Ladies season two. And we are on episode three. Thank you all for joining in. And those of you that's going to come in, we welcome you. If this is your first time watching Lesson with Lady, we pray that it won't be your last. And we thank you for stopping by on your busy, busy Monday to just say hello and to kind of listen to what we have to say. Um, before I go any further, though, I need y'all to give it up for my amazing <laughs> husband and co host, Pastor Sam Johnson. Y'all love me. I know y'all love me. Y'all love me just as much as me. It don't, it don't even, this, this right shoulder don't even do right if he's not over here. Um, if, um, you're catching a replay, <coughs> we thank you all, um, just for hanging tough with us. Um, a couple of things I like to do before we get started. Um, if you have your Bibles, you can go ahead and be turning to the book of Ruth. Um, we're ending the book of Ruth. We've been in the book of Ruth um, for the past um, three, four weeks. And this is the last book. And our overall theme um, this is the last chapter in the book. And our overall theme is favor. We just really believe that for those that have been faithful um, and faithful in the few things, content with um, what you have and the non-complainers, right. the ones that have stuck with the word when it felt like the word wasn't sticking. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I feel like of us. And I'm in, I'm in that number. I'm claiming that I am in the favor number. Um, don't you agree? I agree. I agree. I just think the season is upon us for unusual favor. Mm -hmm. And when you get unusual favor, it happen, happens in unusual ways. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're on the last chapter in the book of Ruth, which is chapter four. Mm -hmm. um, I'd also like to thank, thank um, tonight um, a couple of my local vendors um, over the past few months, even when I wasn't on, I was kind of trying to direct my life and get a little time freed up. I was still supporting local vendors. And this shirt here is made by none other than um, Manisha Gates. She hails out of Calhoun City, Mississippi. She uh, is one of the baddest t-shirts makers. It is, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, <sighs> you know, just as far as I'm concerned, everybody has their own talent, their own lane. And everybody is talented and gifted in their own right. And I just believe that favor is upon her life for this season. And so she made me this pretty lessons with a lady. It's in the computer. Mm, mm. It made me feel. Made me, mm. Okay. All right, then. But yeah, it, it made me feel some type of way. Also, there is a Miss Rogers in Houston, Mississippi. I've been drinking fancy for about two months, maybe two and a half months or longer. She made me this cup, baby. I just be, I, I mean, I take it. All kind, I just be. I be extra, baby, because everybody ain't got their own, their own cup. So uh, I mess, I mess up her name. Stan and I have debated um, about how her name is pronounced. I say Yo Yo Yoshina, and he say Yokia. But we just both say Yo. yo. <laughs> hey Yo, bad cup girl. Bad is bad. You bad, honey. You bad. So uh, if you need local vendors, this is the spot to find out where they are because I support them. I do support them. Um, they have amazing things. They have amazing products. So yeah, support your support your own. Um, we meet in Calhoun City, and Yo is in Houston, and I promise y'all they are awesome. Okay, those of you that um, ordered journals, they will be here this week. Woo woo! I'm excited about that, and please pray with us. Please pray with me because I'm about to make this announcement off the cuff. Uh, I'm thinking that after some of the sessions, those of you that have Clubhouse, 
we may go into Clubhouse and have an integrated, or even maybe Zoom, and have an integrated um, conversation. But um, I need to talk to my co-host about that. <laughs> you know, I just come up with stuff, you know. Whew, but we're going to see how that go because y'all in the comments, what I'm trying to say is the, it's the comments for me. Hit me the comments for me. But I also know that sometimes as we teach, you're inspired with thoughts. And we would like to hear feedback from your thoughts as well. So, yeah. So, tonight's lesson, without further ado, we're going to get on down with it. Let's see what we got here. We are Lessons with Lady Season 2. Episode two, three. episode three, my bad. Yeah, tonight's subject is patience through the process. <laughs> that P word, <laughs> boy, it hurt me to say it. <laughs> patience through the process. My subtopic is dying. They missed out. Oh, no. Dying. They missed out. Mm. Pastor. Talk to us about that patience through the process. That's the thing that's required of us. Uh, patience. And patience you know, consists of, you know, mainly not complaining. Um, you know, mainly not complaining and, and doing something. Yeah. Uh, being productive. Um, Telling of God's goodness, witnessing, um, speaking God's word over your life, praying, fasting, uh, doing all these things, you know, because if you're busy doing those things, you don't have time to complain and, and wonder how, how long, how much, how much longer is it going to happen when you find yourself productive during the process, um, you'll be a whole lot better off. You know, there's this new saying, I got time. Today. I got time today. I checked my watch, watch and I got time today. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> there's a time and a place and there's a, a a space for everything, but there is no space for complaining. Nope. Especially in the will of God. Oops. And that's something that I'm learning. I'm trying to master. I haven't mastered it yet. Because, baby, my mouth before it, before the words are just formed before I even think about it. And I'd be like, what? I just, I, you know, and God is delivering me just and taking me from level to level, faith to faith. And oh, how easily forget we forget that we're in a better space than we was months ago. Right. Like, I'm a lot more comfortable than I was a month a couple of months ago and we have the audacity to complain about where we are even after he's brought us out and we could still be where we were not being content not being content right. so we to have to be very level. careful with that mm -hmm. so ruth ruth had to learn patience mm -hmm. through this process right. and to those of you that has been going with this um the past couple of Lessons in this season, we've walked Ruth and Naomi through leaving a place. Blessed, blessed place. They left the blessed bread. place. They left Bethlehem, Judah, to go to Moab. And all hell broke loose in Moab. They suffered losses. They had to count the calls, count the loss. And they moved back home. Mm -hmm. You got a mother-in-law that's defeated. She's broken. Bitter. She's bitter. Upset. Um and you got a, you know a, a clinger on person that's clinging to him. You got Ruth, the daughter-in-law. She's not even blood kin. She's blood through marriage, right. and uh, kin through marriage rather. And you got her. You're responsible for her, and she doesn't come to your um, neck of the woods. And and she's with Naomi, and right. she's working. And in between working, she caught up with this dude Boaz, which was a cousin. Or a kinsman of her father-in-law and Naomi's husband. And Naomi got a little strength to kind of give her some advice. If you go back to the last lesson, right. she told her how to do it. And, mm -hmm. and at the end, we stopped with Boaz telling her, 
You wait right here. Okay. Go home and you wait, and I will handle mm -hmm. this situation. I'll figure it out in the morning. I'll sure. know tomorrow, and this is where we are. We are here while Boaz is working things out. We're kind of watching the patience of Ruth and Naomi. Right. Okay. So here we are. Let's go to the let's go to the first slide here. Boom. Don't worry about the details of the provision that God has already worked out. It's already worked out, huh? Don't worry, don't worry about a thing. God is already worth it. I, I remixed that thing, didn't I? Yeah, you did, honey. Ah, don't know, worry. It's already worked out. About the details of provisions. Provision is a derivative of provide. provide. So it's already worked out. Don't mm -hmm. don't don't worry about the the details of what God is doing because it's already done. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is going to be a prophetic lesson for somebody tonight. Yeah, because he he had let her know, which we talked about last week. He had let her know that you know. Either way, you take your, care. your situation is handled. And maybe somebody needs to hear that tonight. Mm. Prophesy. That the situation is already handled. So, take worry out of the equation. Mm, that's good, Johnson. Take worry out the equation. He was, um, you know, Boaz went to work. He told her. He said he was going to do it. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. If you understand the story of Boaz, you understand that it's more deeper than a man Finding falling in love woman. and falling in love and finding a woman. So much deeper. This is a redeemer. This is a picture of a redeemer. Mm -hmm. And when he told her, said, I will have this handled on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Only thing they, uh, Ruth had to do was go back and wait. And go to sleep. Rest. <laughs> you done did your work. You done did. You have been obedient. You you mm -hmm. did uh, what the blueprint said. Mm -hmm. You did the word. You performed the word. Now watch the word work for you. And rest. Keep coming back to that rest. Too many restless people of God out there. Mm. It's like they forget what the word says and they forget the work they put in. Mm, I think it's both of them. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting, you know, and I take these lessons personal because like I say, we when we record, it's coming off the cuff. We know the biblical content, but the conversation content, a lot of times I'm teaching while I'm talking my way through. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think a lot of times that I forget that I've already sown seeds, and the only thing I got to do is wait for the harvest. Mm -hmm. That's all you got. That's why it's, should, that word shouldn't be a such thing as worry amongst the children of God. You know, you know the seeds you've sown. You know the good you've done. You know the trust you have. And you know the faith that you have, because that's, that's the one thing that pleases God. So if you keep all that, there's worry can't creep in. Right. Because God is working everything out. It's already worked out. It's just got to come to pass. And I think another thing also, I think, and I could be wrong, and I'm not trying to come off as super sanish, but I think over the years, especially within the past 10, the ease of the... Uh, social world and the internet mm -hmm. we're learning so much mm -hmm. extra to where it's watering down the word mm -hmm. like we are self-help mm -hmm. happy we are com mm -hmm. we were conference happy yeah. we were emotional happy mm -hmm. but we knew a lot of steps but we didn't know the one that ordained it. Mm -hmm. like True. it's leading us to be educated mm -hmm. but it's almost like, to me, sometimes we can rely on what we're learning versus learning the one we're supposed to be relying on. Right. Right. Because we are smarter than ever now. 
based off information and technology. But you got to leave room for God to speak to you to and allow, uh, let him teach you and know that, you know, ultimately it's, it's all about him and knowing that what he's said in his word, you got to stand on it. Yeah. We need to get back to the word. We need to get back to the basic principle of studying mm. the word, mm. not not necessarily to be so profound or prolific, but to for it to save our life, for it to save our emotions, for it to wash us. And mature us. And mature us. You're right. Just feeding our spirit, eating up this word. Right. Which right. will prepare us for. Come on, Johnson. We got to move on. Next. We got to move on. All right. Okay, so... Don't worry about the details of the provision that God is out. No, let's back up. Stay right there. Let's talk about that. What's going on with Boaz? Boaz, he, what he doing? He's he's having a discussion with the nearest kinsman. Okay. He don't went and found the, he, he found him. The, okay. To let him know this is what's going on. So, do we want to dig into that? Or yeah, it's time one? to dig into that. Okay. Come on. Well, in the book of chapter 4, verse 1. Then it says, Then went Boaz up to the gate and sat him down there. And behold, the kinsman of whom Boaz spake came by, mm -hmm. unto whom he said, Ho, such a one, turn aside, sit down here. And he turned and he turned aside and sat down. He took ten men ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit ye down here. And they sat down. And he said unto the kinsman, Naomi, that is come out come again out of the country of Moab, sells a parcel of land which was our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise thee, saying, Buy it before the inhabitants, before the elders of the people. If thou wilt redeem it, redeem it. But if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me that I may know. For there is, n there is none to redeem it beside her, and I am after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. So, what we have going on is you know in you know in the law in those days uh first lady they this these are whenever land was when somebody had some land and they then they faced financial hardships um they could sell the land to the nearest kinsman okay, okay? And even even in that, it's still a provision in that because if if they could this and this is based off Leviticus chapter twenty five. Leviticus chapter twenty five. Mm -hmm. yeah, around twenty three verses twenty three through twenty eight. It it discusses selling land to a family member, and you know when you are you know hard down and you need to sell it for money, but even in that in in those verses in Leviticus twenty five. You know, you would have a certain, you know, you would sell it to them until you were able to afford to buy it back. Oh. But, still more good news. If you couldn't buy it back, it would be returned to you in the year of Jubilee. Okay. We don't know what year that was, but still with that, if I faced hardships, I could sell it to my family. They could hold it until I'm able to buy it back. But if after a certain while I'm not able to buy it back, they had they, to release it anyway. They got to give it back to me anyway. Gotcha. Win win situation. Okay. So Boaz was discussing this with his kinsman, and he's explained this to him about, and it sounded good. It sounded good. So he was like, okay. Yeah, come <laughs> pass. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, I. Y'all know how. Who? <laughs> Who had the body? <laughs> yeah, I don't know right. how we'll do. We go through that. <laughs> yeah, Naomi, yeah, I'll buy that for yeah. them. And because he said, he said, I will, I will redeem it. All right, cuz more land for me. Sure, I'll do it. Yeah. So he all for it. Okay. Until we get to verse five. Mm -mm -mm. What happened? Then said Boaz, "What day thou buyest the field of the?" Hand of Naomi, thou must buy it also of Ruth the Moabitess. Ooh. 
the wife of the dead, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance. So, boy, I tell them, uh, you know how, you know, those infomercials, we, but wait. we're selling this, but wait. There's more. There's more. It's some fine print in this. Okay. Uh, kinsman, could. See, when you get this, Naomi in the part is not by itself because she didn't come back by herself. She brought someone with her. And you gotta marry her and, and have kids with her. And, huh? the, and the, the first child wouldn't be considered yours. What? We, mm. we discovered mm. this back in the day in the other teaching we were doing. Okay. So he's so the first child You got the name after Meliana, Chileana, mm -hmm. whoever, right. and you got the rhythm in their name. Right. And if you don't have any more sons, that land is not yours. Ooh. It would be the land of the firstborn son. Yeah. That wouldn't be considered yours. No. Mm. Boy, that's some fine print for you. That's some fine print. So break it down, break it down into Shalanda terms, though. Now I need to make sure I understand. You know how we be I be saying, Stan, read this for me and help me. Uh -huh. Help me figure this out. Now, I might not be reading it right now. So this man wanted him to ask to say, okay, this is your property that you can buy. You're first right. in line. By law, you're first in line. And you get Naomi's part. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody know Naomi can't have no more kids. No way. And, and, right. She and, old. And that's what he feel. Yeah. Old, I, I can buy that. I can do that. Old bit of Naomi. Yeah. I, let me buy she ain't even want to speak in the morning. Let Naomi do something else. Right. But anyway. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> But I got to take on the baggage that came with Naomi, mm -hmm. which is Ruth with her young, tender, fine self. Squish it, you hit it. And not only that, she's in childbearing position and childbearing age. Oh. And when I do buy all of this, I this package, I, on, I also... By law, got to marry her and then have a son. Raise him up as her husband. As her husband's son. Uh, and then he won't be my son, even mm -hmm. though I'm going to be paying child support mm -hmm. for Ooh, however long. Jesus. <laughs> and then, if I don't have no more kids, I lose, I lose everything I got anyway. So, dude, when he heard all that, what'd he say? No. <laughs> he said, all right. Oh, oh, oh. No, he did not either. Oh. Verse 6. And the kinsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mar my own inheritance. Redeem thou my right to thyself, for I cannot redeem it. Mm -hmm. Other words. That's too much could. Uh, could. You can have that. No. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't. Because if I take this on, I might mess up what I already have. So, you know what, Boaz? You can have it. And see, when I first read this, you know, years ago, when I was first studying scripture, I was like, look at this. I thought he was being so nice. You uh -huh. know, I, I hadn't learned, you know. Oh, okay. I was like, look at this. Look how God worked it out. His kinsman was, his cousin was so nice. No. Mm -hmm. His cousin was selfish. He didn't want to get into all that. He didn't want no more responsibility than he already had. Which brings me to my next point. Okay. Everyone will not see you. Everyone will not see who, who? you, you, yeah, who you really a, are. Everyone will not see who you really are. Only certain people, people can see, see a future, future you. Wow. So. Back that thing up. I felt that thing. Wait a minute. We got to read that together one more time. Everyone will not see who you really are. Only certain people can see a future you. Yeah. Oh my God. So everybody can be, be on this ride. Look. Y'all have heard the term hidden in plain sight. Mm -hmm. Because here's the deal. This man was like, that's just, in other words, 
that's too much responsibility. What you're offering, that package is not worth, worth. my time or my money or my resources. Mm -hmm. It's not worth the care mm -hmm. that I'm going to give. And Boaz is back there. with so He done had a lady at his feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. You said she looked good. I didn't say that. You said that. I don't know how she looked. That wasn't in the Bible days back then. I don't know. Don't ask me that no more. You said she looked good, Walker. I just said she was young and tender. I don't know. Now don't 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 have an argument on him with this little lady. You said she was I didn't say it. Look, let me let me. Don't be discouraged when people can't see what you're headed towards. Right. Don't be discouraged when people can't see mm -hmm. the future you. Don't be right. discouraged when people you you people make you feel like you're not worth what you're asking to them to do. You know why you don't get discouraged? Because all it takes is one to see. Mm. What you, you really say, were. boy? All it takes is one to see what you really were. And God got a connection just for you. You. When other, others overlook, others think it's too much work to invest in you. Oh, my God. Or too much. I can't do this because it, it, you know, you got too much baggage. Well, God got one out there. And then on top of that, I might have too much baggage, but are you smart enough to see what's in the bag? And are you strong enough to carry my baggage? Ooh, because it's valuable. Mm -hmm. It's valuable. Some can see baggage. The others can see, well, let me carry it and open up and see what's in it. Okay. See, and that's, here's the issue. Y'all done, a lot of folks done just done fill out because no one can see. They're not supposed to see. Mm -hmm. If they can't see, they're not. They're not designed to handle you. And a lot of times we try to make ourselves seen uh -oh. prematurely. Say, so, oh, hold up. Repeat that and give them a little information on that. A lot of times we try to make ourselves seen prematurely. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in connections. I believe in networking. Mm -hmm. I believe in promoting who you are. But when you've done all. Okay. Of that, when you've done your due diligence, mm -hmm. you have to be patient in the process. Yeah, that word again. You have to be patient in the process because even with everything out there wide open for them to see, they still might not want to invest. Mm -hmm. But everybody don't have investor eyes. Mm -hmm. Not everybody. Not everybody. But Every have you done your part though? I did my part. I know I've done everything. Right. Like I'm just waiting to to like this stuff is uploading on YouTube and this and that. I'm doing my part now. I don't know what the Lord got in store, or or what's next. That's not my concern because I don't worry about the provisions that are already, already made. made. Because he got one. He got one out there. Because and that's why we have to look at this the the this book of Ruth in a deeper context of verses. Waiting on my Boaz. Boaz is not always the man. It could be the business opportunity. Mm. It, it could be, you know, it could be other things. It could be that blessing, that that connection that God has for you. So let's stop looking at it as I'm waiting on my Boaz just for single women. No. Look look to it as a person that's been struggling, but faithful. And this is not, again, a gender specific. People right. have made this when, when a man. <laughs> No, mm -mm. this is Lord. I need help. Right. I done got in this situation. I need you to bring me out. And, and he has one. He got one. Your boy ass is out there that's going to recognize the value in you. The Johnsons got a boy ass somewhere. Mm -hmm. They do. And when boy ass meets, meets up with us, we're going to be presentable. Oh yeah, we just in the room patient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the future you. Okay. Make sure there is a future you. Oh, okay. Talk on that. Make sure that 
you're ready, presentable, and you know your own worth. Okay. And you can see your own future. Like, have you ever, I like, I like, I like to talk about it like, um, when you're in an interview, I've been on a couple of interviews and they said, what do you see yourself in five years? Mm -hmm. You need to have a plan. Yeah. Have you dream? It's no harm in dreaming. Like somebody asked me what, what we see ourselves in five years. I don't, I mean, you know, talking to Oprah. She interviewing us. Who knows? Five years. I see big. I dream. We meet people. We not. We're not even excited when we meet them. Why? Because I didn't met you in my dreams before. I didn't. I didn't practice talking to you. I don't have time to get starstruck. It's time for me to tell you my plan. Right. And they don't want to see you being starstruck either. Nah, they ain't attractive. You got to handle yourself. You handle, got to. You got to handle the, the handle like you're already on the handle, stage. Handle yourself like you're supposed to be there. Come with Johnson. Boy, you handle yourself like you're supposed to. You know, stop being shocked when God does what he promised to do. Just be like, I know this. I know I'm supposed we, to be. We've been waiting on you. Hey, I, you know, I've done my part, you know, so I'm not in awe with you. You might be in awe with the anointing on my life. You felt that thing, did mm hmm Okay. All right. You know me. I stay calm. Man, this dude. Let me tell y'all something. We went to Biloxi. <laughs> we went to Biloxi in 2019, July 2019. And when I tell you my husband loved him some Kim Fields, like I was nervous. Like I was nervous. Like, Lord, he finna meet his childhood sweetheart, tootie running around. He finna meet mm, tootie fruity. I don't know what to, I, you know. It, you know, I, I, you know. You know, as a wife, you know, you really even. You know, it's one thing, but for the no, they doesn't love them on TV. But when you finna be in the same room, and here she come with them locks. Oh, that sister was pretty. Do you hear me? Next though, I heard her footsteps when she walked in the room. Cam is here. Cam is here. I watched the stand. Couldn't mind like when you get through. Me and your crush, you coming home with me. That's right. <laughs> but when they knocked on our door mm -hmm. and they said, Miss Fields would like a picture with the Johnsons. I took my deep breath. I was like, Lord, I'm finna meet I'm finna meet the only woman in the world that can take my husband oh, from him. Lord, no. <laughs> Stan opened the door. He said, How you doing? <laughs> what? And I'm sitting up here with a I did. My baby was cool. <laughs> she was cute though, was she? Next verse. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, look at him blushing. He blushed. Y'all ever uh, seen him blush? No, I'm too dark to blush. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, they didn't find us falling out. And oh my God, right. we were so ready to meet her. We didn't know what to do. We've been waiting. We, 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 who else we got to meet? We got to, we got some right. more people to meet. Mm -hmm. Where? When? Call us now. Right. Hurry up. Don't quit playing. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. But everybody couldn't see the future us. We would, we were really not by right supposed to have been there. But a lady, one of my, one, somebody I love like a blood sister, I've only laid eyes on her once. She, way in Georgia, a rank stranger saw that video that went viral three point something million mm -hmm. and she inboxed me and she said i see that there is a need for you all to be on my friends conference this time next year mm -hmm. i'm hooking you up never heard from her again and uh, you know when you're used to broken promises and people we got you and we're gonna call you and uh, but that woman that woman saw a future of us yes she did and she brought us in a room with great people. She did. My God. And I can't be mad at nobody else. Mm -hmm. Just because that one was able to see a future us. And don't be discouraged by God you know, intentionally blinding people. Exactly. 
Exactly. You can't be. And I that's why that's why I was hurt at a lot. You know, it, I wanted it from people that knew the story, that knew the struggle, that watched it. God. There was only so many people allowed in that room. That's why God will put skills on people's eyes. That's what happens. But, and oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And and that that's exactly what we're talking about in this story. You know, you got Boaz and the nearer kinsman, and they both got two different perspectives on the on the Naomi and Ruth. Wow. One is looking as baggage, mm -hmm. hassle, trouble. trouble, too much. And another is like, I see a wife and yeah, a future. And a blessing. And lineage. So, so I'm pretty sure, boy, I'm like, this, you, 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 you up first. I hope you say no. You know he was saying, I hope you. I hope you don't. I hope you don't. Like, they, they would tell us. Nah, you, before he could get no out, yeah. he. All right, y'all 10 stand up. Y'all done heard this as a witness. He read the end court session mm -hmm. right then. Right. They were ready like, take your sandal off because that was the custom. And this is the testimony of it. And so, and that's what, what happened. He said, now this was verse 7. Now this was the manner in, in the former time in Israel concerning redeeming and, concern, and concerning changing. For to confirm all things, a man plucked off his shoe, gave it to a neighbor. And that was a testimony in Israel. That it was sealed. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the kinsman said in the Boaz, buy it for thee. So he drew off his shoe. And Boaz said unto the elders and to all the people, You are witnesses to this day that I have bought all that was on the Malek's and all that was Chilion and Malon's of the hand of Naomi. And then verse 10, baby. Moreover, Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of Malon, have I purchased to be my wife. Mm -hmm. wife, not wife. To raise up <laughs> the name of the dead upon his inheritance. That the name of the dead be not cut off from among his brethren from the gate of his place. You are witnesses this day. It's a done deal. It's done. Now you can't retract on this. You can't, you can't go, go back. back. Now. <laughs> now look, it's over with. <laughs> we don't witness this. I done gave you both my shoes. <laughs> Take these shoes. God bless yeah, you. God bless you. May the Lord watch. May the Lord watch. You right. You are so right. So we're going to go on and end this lesson right here. Because we're down at the end. Mm -hmm. Let's get this last slide here. We're going to go. Right. What does it say, Johnson? It says, God will bless what others miss as well as make your worth known for others to celebrate. Mm. Do I need to read that again? Read it one more again. God will bless what others miss mm -mm -mm. as well as make your worth known. For others to celebrate. Yeah. Huh. Well. End it up, Johnson. Wrap well, it up. One very important aspect of, of, of this story um, is I want to back up to verse one. Okay. And, and point something out in that. Point it. When Boaz spoke to this kinsman, he said, Ho, such a one. Okay? Mm hmm. <clears throat> That word one, first lady, in the Greek is almany. Okay. That means he said, ho, such a one. He basically was saying, so and so. Okay. He didn't really reveal. Either he, he knew the name and the writer of this book didn't reveal who this was. Why? Why? Because <laughs> he missed out in being in the lineage. So his name wasn't important. Wait, run that again now. Break it down in Shalom terms. <laughs> now tell me again now. <clears throat> this nearer kinsman, if he had purchased, oh. uh, we would have never heard about Boaz. Because he would have been the one. But mm -hmm. because he didn't even think it was worth it, we don't even, we don't even know, know his, his name. name. And he didn't get in the lineage. God, dog. All we know him as is, is so, and so, and so so. We don't even know the we name of the cousin. We don't know the name. Because it don't matter. It don't matter. He missed out. He overlooked what somebody else saw. Dang! They missed that. That's what you said. He missed that. His name would have been known throughout. His name would have been in the Bible at right, least. Right, right. But because 
he didn't value, he missed the value, and he saw baggage. And Boaz knew mm. what it was. So there's another thing that done struck me in my shundo. Okay. It doesn't matter whenever you do arrive, God is going to make it so amazing to where you won't even <clears throat> care about nor remember or it won't even be worth talking about who didn't. The only thing that matter will be who did. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we spend so much time acknowledging who didn't when actuality they don't even supposed to have a place or a name mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. But we done made a, a, a permanent chapter uh, temporary about uh, about somebody that was a non-factor no way because they didn't even count. So in other words, when you have the baby, don't tell me about the birth pains. True. I want to see the baby. Right. But I did this and I did that. But look at the product that you have. And old brother so-and-so got left out of history. Mm. And names were very important. Lineage you was think very, it's not important, baby? Very important in those Man. days. And if he would have just not missed out, it would have been his name other than Boaz's name. Wow. Look at Boaz. What God blessed him. What did he get blessed with, Pastor? A wife? A wife? Land. Land? A child with his old end. Because... You know, now, Ruth was married for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Never had a child. Because children are not supposed to be in the mm -hmm. bloodline of Jesus. But look at what happened. That's why God set it up. That's why you don't, don't be discouraged in your barren times. Come on, Johnson. You, know, you are barren for a purpose. You're barren for a reason. It's not time yet. So what you're currently connected to is not what God got for you in the future. Ooh, boy, you preaching. See, y'all like these conversations. These lessons be blessing me. Because at the end of the day, you know, you get so frustrated with being unproductive. If you're productive in the wrong season, it's going to cause chaos. Mm -hmm. And you're stuck with the product that's out of season. Oh, wow. Malon was not supposed to conceive a child with you know why? Why? Because Malon was over there in Moab, Moab and was disobedient by bearing a Moabite anyway. Mm -hmm. That really blessing was for the folk at the house of bread. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. See, God ain't going to produce outside his house now. Mm -hmm. That's what he ain't going to do. Mm -hmm. Now, Ruth converted to, to Jesus. She did. Well, to, to God, she came and said, I want my, she sold her whole heritage out. Said, I want your God to be my God. Where you go, right, I'll, I'll go. go. I'm when you me. die, bury me where you <laughs> die. Right, because she saw the value in Naomi's patience and yeah. reverence of the one true living God. You got to come to the Lord's side. The Lord's not coming to yours. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, so now they made the deal. Mm -hmm. And where we stop? He said we gonna stand up and we gonna agree. And y'all okay. heard it. He pulled off his shoe, right. throwed his sock down, and ran <laughs> and got a uh, roof and found and made her a wife. Okay, so she's a wife. We'll we'll skip on down. And now they've they've the deal is is, is sealed. And and verse eleven says all the people that were in the gate and the elders said we are witnesses. The Lord make the woman that is come into thine house like Rachel and Leah, and like Leah, which too did build the house of Israel, the children they had. And do thou worthily in Ephrathah, and be famous in Bethlehem. Look at what they're speaking. They blessing this woman. Mm -hmm. Let thy house be like the house of Pharaoh, whom Tamar bore bear unto Judah, of the seed which the Lord shall give thee of this young woman. Verse 13. So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. Mm-hmm. And when he went into her, the, yes. Lord, the Lord gave her conception. Ooh -wee. And she bare a son. A whole son. All right. Now, just like what you said, the last part of that was God will bless what others miss mm -hmm. as well. 
make your worth known for others to celebrate. Okay. So she had a son. Yeah. Ruth had the son. Yeah. Verse 14 says, And the women said unto who? Naomi. Naomi. Wait a minute, Naomi, Naomi, you, Naomi, you weren't pregnant? You old. Naomi, you build away. Wait, what you do now? What, what, what? Hmm. Let's see. Ble- the women said unto, you, to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which hath not left thee this day without a kinsman, that his name may be famous in Israel. They, they are, I mean, look at this. And then they go on because, you know, Ruth had the baby, but look at who they speaking. Look at who they speaking of. Oh, my God. And they say, and he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life and a nourisher of thine old age. For thy daughter-in-law, which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven mm-hmm. sons. So seven is completion. So if you had seven sons, it would, equal, woman. it would equal this one woman. Listen, I got to stop right here because what just dropped in my Shondo again. <laughs> while he was reading the blessings that was praised up on Naomi. Don't you understand that's classic discipleship? And there is a blessing in discipleship. Mm-hmm. This woman received crown and praise based on the person she brought to the Lord. Mm-hmm. That person, resto- the one she discipled in turn brought and brought joy back to her. Mm-hmm. Which is why we got to make disciples. Oh, this thing right. is a, more about us. You know, we, we taught to be loners. We're taught to... This is my walk. This is my way. Me, myself, and I. Baby, sometimes your next is the one you bring to the Lord. And when he convert them, they're going to be. They're going to bless you. Y'all don't want to talk to nobody today. Y'all don't want (laughs) to. Look at Ruth. Ruth having a child. They ain't mentioning Ruth. Ruth got the gift. (laughs) But it's a blessing to them. Mm -hmm. Ruth got the gift. But it's a blessing to them. That gift to turn around and bless you. She had this son. And folk were like, ooh, blessed be Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, you God has restored your life. This son is going to nourish you. This son is going to give you everything that you thought you missed or you thought you missed out on. It is not too late for God to show out in your life. It's not. And sometimes he'll show out for you through who you bring to the Lord. Mm. So be careful how you treat people. No, run that back. Be careful how you treat people. Don't just shun people away. If some people are trying to cling to you, listen. Don't let past bad relationships, not talking about intimate, just relationships, friendships, compa- don't allow those to make you not pour into the next person. And you know, that's where I'm at right now. So be honest with you. Be honest about it. I am. I am. You know you get you just get to a place to where you be like, I'm tired of folk hurting me. And that's understandable, of course. But then I also be like, Lord, you know, there has to be somebody. Mm-hmm. But this is what you do every, whenever they come. You just pour into them. You plant those seeds. And the God to increase. Yeah, you know, because sometimes I'm talking to the ones that's like, this, this understand what I'm saying. Sometimes it's easier to protect than push your way through mm-hmm. the walls you built. Right. That sometimes that rejection uh, that you not that you rejecting people. Sometimes that caution caution that you have is also a curse because you wow. might be rejecting the very one that's there. To be a blessing to you. And I have to continue. That's one thing I continue to put on the altar. Because by by nature. Just leave me alone. And I'm not saying it in no mean way. We understand. You know that's just my nature. But some kind of way. I push myself. To understand that everybody don't have a motive. Mm-hmm. Right. I learned the lessons. with You know for myself. <laughs> Ask God, what are you trying to teach me? <laughs> and I glean from the lesson, but also I steadily try to progress with relationships. Mm-hmm. You said something. You said sometimes the caution can be a curse. 
I'm, I'm just I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I, I ain't gonna lie on myself. That's right. Ain't gonna well, lie on I mean, nobody else either. But you know, ain't no point in me trying to be nowhere. Lie on yourself. You know, even with this lessons with lady, it's a push mm -hmm. to get up and teach, um, and do this. And you know, you have the you know the thought process. Uh, you know, people don't people don't want to be dealing with this. You know. But the relationships that I have to where I'm understanding, if it ain't helping but one, Sister Debbie. Right. <laughs> if it ain't but one, hey, Sister Debbie. Ashley. I mean, just hey, what? Ashley. I mean, you got people that, get, if, if, if they, as soon as they hear the song come on, they like, oh, they sitting down like it's real TV. Mm -hmm. I push. Right. We push. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. It's a sacrifice, mm -hmm. but God will bless <laughs> what others miss and I want you to understand that you know don't cry over who didn't just wait on who will right. and watch what God will do right that's what you have to do you know God's got you and yes you can be called blessed by who you bring along so verse 16 says Naomi took the child laid it in her bosom became nurse unto it and the women her neighbors gave it a name it's the first time that, that it happened at that point. They didn't name their own child. The women gave a name saying, there's a son born to Naomi. Born, born to? Born to Naomi. <laughs> Naomi. And they called his name Obed. Mm -hmm. He is the father of Jesse, mm -hmm. who is the father of David. David. The Ooh. line of David, where Jesus Jesus. This, this woman, this. when she sold everything, she jumped right in line with Jesus. Right in line. Because she sold out. Sold out for Jesus. She didn't She didn't stay ratchet. Right. She didn't keep a little bit of... She didn't get delivered from Moab. Uh-huh. You know, she didn't come out of Moab. Okay. But Moab didn't come out of her. Mm -hmm. She didn't mix the two. She nope. sold her whole self out. To be in line with Jesus. And look at what Boaz and the child they had was the grandfather of King King David. David. That's amazing to me. Man, the Bible, when you just sit and just really dialogue about it, yeah. it's, it's one thing to hear it preached. It's another thing to teach it as far as Bible study and, and this and that. Not really, but just to have a dialogue mm -hmm. about God's word. Man, you can find some stuff. I would never look at Ruth and Boaz and, Boaz and Naomi and them ever again the same. Not the same. Not the, all the treasures we've dug out. In just these four chapters. Let's end it, Johnson. We're down to the end. Amen. God bless you. And we pray that that you've learned something that, and you're going to apply what you've learned to your life. And know that God is working on your behalf if you remain faithful and your labor is not in vain. Some of those people clinging to you that won't leave they can end up being the biggest blessing of Glory your life because you're faithful. So let us get ready. Let's pray. Let's pray. Precious Heavenly Father, once again, Lord, we thank you for yet another lesson, another teaching. We thank you, Lord, for your listeners. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for even as we were teaching, Lord, we were learning things. Yes, Lord. Because, Lord, we're, we're humble enough to know we don't know it all. And, Lord, we thank you for speaking to us. And, Lord, we thank you for speaking to the audience. And Lord, we're speaking to someone that's about to lose patience. Hang in there. Remain patient while God works it out. Thank you, And Jesus. be encouraged in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask you to just speak. We ask you to bless the listeners, Lord. Yes, the Lord. ones for their faithfulness, Lord. Let them know that their situation, their Boaz, is being brought to the front line. And we honor you on tonight. We bless, bless all the listeners, save the unsaved. And Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise, the glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all. I don't know uh, as of now where we're headed. I think we're going to a book that is not necessarily um, attached to favor, but if we dig through it, we're going to look at the favor in difficult seasons. Um, Pastor Stan and I will talk about that soon but in the meantime thank you all thank you all we will be back with another lesson monday um i will get your journals to you all if you all need a journal 
They are twelve dollars. I pre-order um because I'm I'm just not ordering a whole whole lot um because I, I want to be economical about it. And if you need um one, let me know. They're twelve dollars. Um, notebook style. They're coal bound. They're twelve dollars, but they're fifteen if I need to mail one to you. Um, also, if you would like to sow a seed, you are welcome to do so as well. Because it's a blessing to be a blessing. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's not required. We don't beg. We don't plead. You know? I just know uh, there are some people that understand seed and harvest. Um, if you sow in the good ground, you don't have no other choice but to reap. Right. Um, so you're welcome to do that as well. If nothing else gain our attention... We will um, chat with you all um, next Monday. Oh, let me say this right here. Also, not only are you getting lessons with Lady, you're also getting a, a private glimpse of how Pastor Stan and I interact on a daily behind closed doors. Um, the arguments and the pettiness and this and that, I promise you, that goes on 24-7. We, we, Not 24-7. <laughs> yes, it do. <laughs> Yes, I do. He aggravates me, and I aggravate him. And it's normally about something that don't even matter. But we laugh about it. We joke about it. I, he can think about it. Let me tell y'all what this man told me. He told me when he get to heaven. Because I always told him I was going to live with him when we get to heaven. He was like, he was going to look for, uh, what's the name? Bathsheba. So that's why we be arguing, because we be going to start at this stuff. You know? Who does that? 